Sing me a song of a last that is gone. Say, could that last be I? Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Hey everyone, Alvine here. Today I'm going to be doing the firsts, firsts tag and I was tagged in this by Nate the K so thank you very much my dear uh, and this tag was created by Madame Luna or Madame Luna I'm not sure how she pronounces it um, and it's just 13 fun little questions of firsts sorry I've got a whole bunch of smoke going on here I um <laughs> I lit some incense and forgot to like like blow out the flame so I've just I've got like anyway so much smoke okay so the first question is, how did you encounter paganism, witchcraft, or magic for the first time? Uh, for me, you know, of course I grew up with a lot of movies, I grew up with Disney, um, which I think in pretty much every movie that comes to mind instantly, um, there is some element of magic in there. Uh, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks was my very favourite when I was growing up, and I watched it like a hundred million times. Um, yeah, and I was always into fantasy and things like that. Like, I always loved witches and magic and that sort of thing, magical worlds. So that was the first place I encountered it. Um, and when I was about 11 was the first time that I encountered magic in the real world and found out that it was something that kind of existed, you know, outside of the TV. I mean, I had an idea before that because my mum had always spoken about the evil of witches and things like that, you know. Um, you know, and through the Bible there's, I mean, one mention, but, you know, it was something that my mum brought up at least a few times when I was growing up, you know. I was very aware that being a witch was a, a bad thing, you know. Um, but anyway, so I had a little experiment at 11. <laughs> and that was the first time I experienced the power of magic for myself. Um, and I've mentioned this in another video before, but I ended up getting scared off it through some of the things that my friend had told me. Um, yeah, so I didn't kind of look at that again for a while. And this pastime, um, this third time that I've come across it all um, was about two years ago. So two years Yule Eve, my Yule Eve, which will be summer solstice Eve in the north, <laughs> um, marks my, my two year anniversary of officially stepping onto this path. So about six months prior to that, I was looking into witchcraft and into paganism. Um, paganism first and witchcraft kind of came along with that later on. Um, yeah, so that was when I, I came across it, so, yes. Uh, the second question is, what was your first book? Okay, my very first book, it took me a while to figure this out because I couldn't remember. Uh, my very first book was this book, which is Standing in the Light. Uh, this is a book on pantheism, and it was recommended, I can't remember if it was recommended by Kellyanne or Anya Orga. I think it was Anya. Um, maybe it was both of them, I don't know. Um, but I read this and then I was like, oh my god, I'm a pantheist! <laughs> so, yeah, this was a really cool book and it really got me outside of my comfort zone as well. Um, I was at the beginning of my path at that time and, yeah, the whole idea of not having an anthropomorphic god was very scary to me. Um, so a human-like god figure, um, or goddess figure, obviously. Um, yeah, it was very scary to me and this kind of got me outside of my comfort zone and got me to really consider that that was the direction I was heading and that was what I was feeling about about divinity. So, yeah, and there's, you know, other people like me. So that was the first one. In terms of witchcraft, I don't know which was the first one. Um, I think it was, I think this was my first witch book and this is Craft of the Wild Witch which I actually thought would be quite different to what it is. There's a lot on um, astral travel in here, um, which I, I didn't think it would be like that. I thought it would be a lot more sort of green magic and things like that. Um, at the time, it's been a long time since I read it, and I'm just looking through it now, and there's so much underlining and, like, notes in the margins and, like, you can see things I've said. <laughs> and I'm one of those people who believes that 
books should be loved and lived in. Um, you know, I came from the background of thought of, you know, you can't, like, don't deface a book with, you know, outlining, outlining, with underlining and all those sorts of things, and now I just don't think that. Um, especially in my, um, non-fiction books. I love to do that because I look back through and instead of having to go and find a journal from three years ago that I wrote notes in about what I was reading, I can just jump straight into the book and go, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking and, you know, take things from there. Plus, I love getting books that are underlined and with little notes and annotations in them from other people as well. So, I do that. Um, and the other one, this is actually more of a pagan book, is The Real Middle Earth. And I'm not sure which came first, this or The Wild Witch. Um, this is one of my favourite, favourite books. I love this book. Um, let me know if you guys have read it. I'd be interested to see who has. Um, but this kind of is about mythology and mythological creatures and how the, um, how the folk tales began, you know. Really fascinating. I absolutely love this book. And he just writes it so beautifully. We go into the world of Tolkien. So, that was my first book, slash three. You know, I'm not going to show you, like, one book, right? <laughs> All right. The next question is... What was the first spell you ever performed? <clears throat> okay, my first spell. So, I had this emotional tie with someone, um, and it was a very unhealthy relationship that we had. Um, and one day something happened and just all of a sudden I snapped and I realised how bad it was, the situation I was in, and that I really needed to get this gone and get this person, you know, this kind of tie that we had out and done and, you know. So I was feeling very shaken up by it, so there was a lot of energy and emotion around what I did. And what I did was I went down to the beach. Um, I don't know if... I think it was the next night that I did this, um, from when I kind of realised this needed to happen, or maybe it was a few days later, I don't remember. Um, so I went down to the beach, and I lived right across the road at the time, and no one was there. Um, it was just me alone on the beach, and I, I picked up a stick to represent that person and my relationship with that person. And I imbued that stick with lots of energy. <laughs> Um, you know, really focused on what that was, and I can't remember the rest of what I did, uh, I don't think I ever wrote it down, but, you know, I, I said some words, um, I know I didn't have any other tools with me, because I, I hadn't been practicing very long at that time at all yet, I was still very much at the beginning of, of what I was doing, and Basically, I, I, you know, I took it to the ocean and I said some words over it that I, I don't specifically remember. Something about, you know, letting go and wanting it to wash away and be done with, basically. In a much more eloquent way at the time. Um, and then I threw it into the ocean as hard as I could. And I watched it float away and it was done. And it is one of the most powerful spells that I've ever done. Well, maybe that's not true, but at the time it was so powerful. It just felt so profound that that stayed with me. Um, and ever since that day, and, and this person and I were very, very tied up together, um, from that day we have barely spoken. We have spoken maybe two or three times. Um, and each of us, you know, it's been different ones who have tried to kind of, you know, get in contact with the other and it just hasn't happened and that was um well it would have been at least a year and a half ago maybe more i feel like it was more but you know a lot a lot happens in that amount of time um yeah so it absolutely worked it worked straight away and it was just like done you know i was gobsmacked. So that was the first spell I ever did and boy did it work. And just a little side note, so that shows you how much you don't need tools to do spell work. Like I went down to the beach and used what was there. Um, you know, correspondences are nice and you know, purchasing things and getting things, gathering things that have different correspondences is great and it works really well, but you don't need those things. You can use whatever you've got. You know, the witches of old didn't go out and buy, you know, 
red, green, purple candles for a specific spell or go out and purchase specific herbs or, you know, like they would have obviously done that but within what they had themselves. So if they had access to maybe three or four different herbs, those would be the herbs that they would use or, you know, things like that. So you don't need to purchase far and wide to do spell work, even though it's fun and you can if you want to. The next question is, what was your first crystal or stone? Um, I purchased about seven or eight. Um, I had been saving up for a while and I had a few friends that were into crystals. So I decided to save up a whole bunch of money and buy myself a few at one time. Um, I'll just show you a couple that I have on hand here. Uh, Lodestone was one of my first crystals and these are ones that I'd looked into and decided that I really wanted. And Black Tourmaline. I don't think I'd looked into Black Tourmaline but it screamed to me when I was in the store and I was picking them out like oh and Black Tourmaline to this day remains one of my favorite favorite stones. So there's those and oh yeah oh, oh. I'm dropping things and Peach Selenite was another one that was one of my first stones. Uh, the next question is, who was the first god or goddess you encountered on your path? For me, the first one was the Horned God. And we've had some really good times together. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, how did you meet, how did you first meet other pagans? Um, I've never met another pagan in real life that I know of. Um, and the place that I first met other pagans was here on YouTube. What was the first festival, meetup, or public gathering you attended? I have not attended any of the above to date. What was the first class or workshop you took? Um, I've done a few kind of workshop slash series things that I've followed on YouTube. Um, there was one in particular by Anya Orga that I did, which was on um, paving your spiritual path. And that was a really, really fantastic one. And I will link that down below to anyone who is interested. Um, she basically does, I think it's six or seven videos. I can't remember how many now. Um, where she kind of gives you a lot of journal prompts and things to think about when you're kind of um, molding your own spiritual path. And this is something I've actually gone through twice now. Anytime I feel a bit of a sort of a slump or not kind of knowing where I'm going, feeling very confused or anything like that, I go through this stuff and it's just brilliant really really fantastic so I will link that down below um, and the first proper kind of course I've done um, is with Grey School which I'm doing now um, yeah so Grey School my, my class what was the first chant you learned uh, that was we all come from the goddess which Nate McKay mentioned in his video as well what was the first method of divination you learned when I first began paganism and witchcraft I was getting into the tarot but it was really difficult and something that I, I didn't connect with the debt that I the debt the deck that I had purchased for myself uh, so it didn't kind of work very well so I let that go and the, probably the main form of divination that I kind of got into first was scrying and scrying is something that I really really love to do and um, I haven't done a lot of it in kind of recent times um, but I've got some some plans coming up for my scry in life so that'll be fun what's the next one what was your first tool hmm. all right my very first tool can you guess what it is it's not working okay never mind <laughs> my very first tool was one that was gifted to me That is my healing bowl and this is one of my very very favorite items that I own and my father-in-law brought this back for me from um, Nepal and yeah I love it it's it's so pretty and um yeah so that was my very first tool that I ever had and my very first definitely witchy tool that I purchased for myself I was really excited about this one was my little cauldron I had to hide this away for like a year <laughs> um, while I still lived with family, but I love this so much. And yeah, it's got the triple moon going on there. And yeah, I love it. It's like really heavy too. So that was my first tool. And my phone's shut off again. I think we're up to the last question. No, we're not. 
Second last question. What was the first method or exercise you learned for energy work? Uh, that was in this book. Um, so, Secrets of Crystal Healing. Um, in this book, he has a little exercise that he talks about, and it's, um, you know, where you rub your hands together. And focus on the energy ball. And play with the energy ball. <laughs> that was probably the first kind of energetic thing. And then, um, you know, he went on from there to do like a like a, a blessing for food. And I sort of worked on that. And then after that was grounding. Grounding is the first real energetic method that I've connected with and used a lot. What is a memorable or favourite first on your path that wasn't included in the above questions? Um, I had to think about this a little bit. And where it is? My very first magical journal. And actually, this is probably my actual very first tool. No, after the healing bowl. Yeah, no, I got that first. Um, my very first uh, um, yeah, magical journal. This is really special to me, this one. It's got like quotes and like bits and pieces and um, different things from videos I watched and different little spells, stuff about different um, correspondences for herbs and whatever. What is this? Mm. Birth and death are the two most intimate times in a person's life. To the well-organised mind, death is but the next great adventure. Oh, I love that. I'm going to be using that this Samhain. Alright, so yeah, my magical journal. Um, my very first one. I, I love it and it's special to me. And I love this brown paper. I haven't been able to find journals with this brown paper in it, like, since this one, and I'm spewing because there was two there and I only brought one and I just haven't been able to find brown paper journals since. Anyway, that was my favourite one. Mm -hmm. So, this has been my first tag. I hope it was interesting to you. Um, I tag anyone who has not done this tag. If you would like to do it, I would really love to see it. If you do do it, or if you have done it, um, let me know in the comments below. Link it, all that sort of thing. I don't mind if you link things down there. That's fine. I will post the questions down below as well so that you can see what they are and do the tag and it'll be fun. And I will link um, Madame or Madame Luna's video down below as well so you can check that out. I wish you all much love and many blessings and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.